I will introduce the five aspects, problem, formulation, lim limitations, and uh, focus, algorithms, and uh, simulations. OK. But first, we <coughs> introduce the problem and uh, in our paper. Online sequential design making um, is a critical demand in the machine learning and the data science. Managing the delayed feedback emerges as a prevalent challenge in real world scenarios, such as the web environment, like uh, robustness and uh, generalizability of the web mining. And uh, in our work, we model the online sequential decision making as a framework of online convex optimization. At each iteration, the agent selects a decision X sub T from a closed composite. After submitting the design, the agent receives the information from the adversary regarding the node function F sub T. And uh, next, the agent serves the instantaneous nodes. The goal of the agent is to choose a sequence of decisions that minimize the, the grid. The grid is the difference between the loads incurred by the sequence of decision of the agent and uh, the loses incurred by the optimal decision in hindsight. OK. In the standard online convex optimization, and without uh, delays, the we only assume the agent has immediately access to the information of the loose function. That is, the loose function is reviewed after the decision, current decision and before the next decision. But in practical scenarios, there exists a temporal gap between the design making and the reception feedback. So to describe the delayed setting, we make D sub T Delayed a long negative in integral delay at the interaction t. And uh, at the end of the interaction t plus d sub t minus 1, the feedback curved at the interaction t is received and uh, can be used in the next iteration. In the standard setting without uh, delays, we usually think uh, d sub t equals 1 for all t. And uh, we delayed the set of iteration that uh, receives the feedback at the and uh, iteration t as uh, the in kind of sized f sub t. OK, there is two existing works that to handle the delayed feedback. That is delayed online gradient descent and uh, delayed online gradient descent for strongly convex up functions. Um, this function is to update the decision by subtracting the current decision x sub t from the received outdated <coughs> gradient, as shown in the <coughs> slides. However, the existing algorithms solely rely on gradient feedback and the Euclidean norm are not well equipped to the more universal <coughs> scenarios. And uh, we can see that uh, three limitations. The first is that uh, the existing works uh, <laughs> depend on the feedback in the form of um, gradient. But uh, in the real world, the information type is not uh, declared before the <coughs> design making. And the second one is uh, the, this gradient descent based algorithm uh, rely on the Euclidean projection, but uh, in the universal spaces, such as computing the Euclidean projection onto the simplex could be very expensive. The second limitation is uh, the theoretical analysis in their work is dependent on the Lord space and the primal space. In the Euclidean norm, the space, the dual space and the primal space is the same space. So they can easily to calculate the regret. But in the universal spaces, the dual space and the primal space is uh, exist in a separate spaces. And uh, this are is our paper handles. Um, our paper focuses on three <laughs> types of feedback information. As for information, 
great data information and value information. And uh, our paper focused on two types of functions, like general complexity and uh, relative strong complexity. Note that the relative strong complexity is a universal type of the standard strong complexity. And uh, our paper focused on three types of spaces, such as Euclidean norms, simplex probability, and uh, p norms. OK, um, next we int I introduce the in algorithm. When the feedback is a full information of the loose functions motivated by the standard founder regularity for the leader algorithm, um, we replace the standard history from beginning to iteration T with out the history of re root function in the iteration state. That is, um, <coughs> if tau is from one to T. Okay, we can see that uh, um, the profi function we use it to cover the property of the space. And uh, if we, if at some iteration there is low feedback, we may keep the design unchanged. And uh, we can know that in, if we consider the relative strong complexity, there is loaded the regularization functions. There is a difference for different type of those functions. And uh, our regret analysis is that uh, for the general convex, we can achieve the <laughs> regret in the order of the square root of capital D sub capital T. The, ca the DT is a uh, cumulative delays over all the iterations. And if the loose function is relative strong convex, we can achieve the regret in the order of D times ln T. The lower case D is the uh, maximal delay over among the all iterations. And uh, when the feedback is a great the information of the loose functions motivated by the standard online mirror sent algorithm, <laughs> we replace the great data from the next uh, iteration with the great state in the <coughs> from the state of the observed feedback. And we can see that uh, in our mentioned the final leader algorithm. We use the regular relation function to cover the property of the spaces directly. But in our mere descent type algorithm, we make the Bergman divergence to cover the property of different uh, spaces. And uh, there is two difference to, between the two type of those functions. The first one is we can see that uh, in the general convex, we, we utilize the feedback state one by one. And uh, if the loop function is relative strong convex, we utilize the state of the <coughs> gradient of loop function once at uh, each iteration. The second difference is that uh, in the general convex setting, <coughs> in the general convex setting, the learning rate, eta, is static, and in the relative strong complexity setting, the learning rate is dynamic and related to the number of the reviewed feedback. Okay, and the regret analysis um, has a similar result with uh, our proposed final leader algorithms. Third, when the feedback reduces the value information of the loose functions grant at the corresponding design point, we replace the full information of the gradient state with the partial information of the gradient state gradient values. Uh, as seen the slides. This is simplified of, of our proposed <coughs> delayed mirror descent. And the Regret guarantees is similar with the algorithm with uh, more information. And uh, here we discuss the theoretical guarantees in detail. Um, in the Euclidean norm, our proposed three types of algorithm consistent with the uh, OGD based uh, algorithm. So we <laughs> compare the result. Uh, with the example of simplex and the example of pin norm. We can see that uh, in the example of simplex, first in the general convex, we can 
transform the dependency, dimension dependency, and from the square root of n to the square root of log n. And if we consider the strongly convex, we can transform the dimension dependency from n to 1. And if we consider the example of pin norm, we can first in the general convex, we can transform the dimension dependency from square, the square root of n to the qth root of n. And if the root function is relative strong convex, we can transform the dependency, dimension dependency from n to the power of n to the fraction two over q. We looked that uh, q is larger than two, so our theoretical result is better than the baseline. Okay, and uh, next uh, we conduct the um, experiment in some examples and uh, in real world data and uh, artificial data. We can see that in different examples, our proposed three types of examples, our proposed three types of algorithms can outperform the baselines in different examples and different spaces. And uh, we also de develop the impact of delayed clearance and uh, approximate errors. These simulation results um, pr prevent uh, Similar trend or or the same trend with uh, with our theoretical results, and uh, that's all. Thank you.